Hey, what's up? Let us create this cinematic scene in Unreal Engine 5. I'm gonna walk you all through from start to finish. And for the sneaker, I use photogrammetry for that. But I'm not gonna talk about it in this tutorial. And if you wanna know more about photogrammetry, I will recommend you check William Felcher's page. I believe that's the right pronunciation and you are gonna get going with photogrammetry but in this tutorial i'm gonna go through how i made this whole scene in unreal engine if you want to grab the sneaker you can check our patreon page and you can get the sneaker on our patreon page so let's just get started so i have the sneaker in our unreal engine scene and this is what it looks like it came out pretty good with reality capture but in here I want to get some asset from Quicksilver Bridge I will get this grass and also I'm gonna get this sunflower and I'm gonna get these two sunflowers um, this one I'm gonna close the page and I'm gonna get this one too so definitely we are gonna scatter some grass and I'm gonna get this beach rock formation all of these assets you can get them on the quicksilver bridge page and again i'm gonna get this burnt forest flow that's gonna be our flow for in our scene okay so let's hop back into our scene and i will want to grab the rock that we just got from quicksilver bridge and i will drop the rock into our scene and this is what it looks like but I feel like I want to rotate it a little bit. Maybe, okay, maybe this is cool. So what I want to do is I will bring in our sneaker and it's looking very tiny. So what we are going to do is I'm going to push it a little bit backwards. So it aligns with the rock and I will try and rotate it just like that. And definitely I'll try and rotate it so it aligns with our rock then boost the size so it kind of fits like it is sitting on the rock so at this point we are not doing much all that we are doing is we are trying to align the beginning of our scene and how it's gonna look like so here I'm gonna drop a plane and with this plane we are gonna scatter our stuff on and this is where we are gonna plant all our grasses and all our rocks so definitely I'm gonna pull this down just like here so just on this level mind you you cannot scatter on the default floor that Unreal Engine is gonna give to you that's why I have to drop in a plane so we can use that plane to scatter our rocks okay and scatter our grasses all right so i'll drop the burnt floor onto the um onto our plane and all we have to do is we have to go to the foliage and we will start painting some foliage onto our plane all right so at this point i'm painting all some rocks onto our planes because uh, on a normal ground we are gonna get some rocks definitely you are not gonna see this in the whole scene that much because we're gonna cover it with um grass and i don't like the colors of the rocks so i'm gonna go to the albedo and the albedo tint and when i drop it down i'm gonna get this dark color because this is what I'm going in, I'm going in for, for the whole scene. So I will select every single one I just placed with the foliage into the scene. And I will try and make the albedo tint black. So just like this. And now I want to paint all my grasses. So I will select the ones I'm really interested in. And when I'm done selecting them, I will go down and try and change the scale so I'm gonna place this one at 3 and I'm gonna leave the main axis 
and I'll start painting foliage on our plane. So it depends on the settings you're going to you have in your own scene. Sometimes it will work just as mine settings and sometimes you have to use your own settings. And now I want to paint the flowers. So I'll just put all these sunflowers just a little bit into the scene. So it's kind of, it's kind of mixed with grass and flowers. Okay, so this is where we start with our first light. Our first light is going to be a rectangular big light at the top. Okay, so I will try my best to disable all the directional light. So we are left with our own light that we have to plant into the scene. So first things first, we want to plant this, say this light at the top and don't make it so much lit just a little bit because we are going to add more light into the scene but this is going to be the first and the basic one that's going to be the master and i want to double click here because i don't actually like the color of the grass it's more green and it's not gonna sit into the scene so i will just deselect the albedo and i will drag the color to be more black so when we get into the scene we have something like that and i won't do it for only the grass i'm also gonna do it for the sunflowers because that really sits with the scene i'm actually going in for it depends on what you're also going in for but this really set up for me so the albedo and the color overlay i will just drag it down and we are gonna have something like this and this is what we are actually going in for this is the scene that we want to go in for so now we have no light in our scene we just have only one light at the top the one i just told you now check this light i have this light here and with this light i'm going to show you where this light is at in the scene so we i will definitely get out of the camera and you know where this light is at so this is the light now this light i really want to make it a little bit small because we don't want to we don't want the light spilling on the grass okay we want the light only focusing on the sneaker now when i turn it on you see this is only more focusing on the sneaker and I, it's really more intense so i will really pull this a little bit down so just more subtle to give it this subtle effect we are not going in for an exposed um asset we are just going in for a little bit of light on our sneaker and when i turn it on and off you see the effect is given in and i'll go back and we want to plant in another light so i'll pull this i'll duplicate it and pull this light at the back of the sneaker which is going to let the side back of the sneaker all right so when I turn it back on and off, you see the effect is planting on the sneaker. All right. So at this point, I feel, I really feel the scene and the scene is really great, but we have one light. We want to let this light on the legs of the sneaker, in front of the sneaker. So another small rectangle light and I will position it just right at the top of the legs of the sneaker. Okay and i will drag the intensity down and this is the effect that it is giving us very perfect this is amazing okay so since we are done with this we are not actually done we have to go to the post process and then at this point it's just user preference okay you want to add some effect i mean some global Color, color grading effect in your scene it depends on the feel that you are going in for you can add some saturation and contrast into your scene you can definitely do this in davinci resolve or premiere pro how you really want it but i actually like davinci resolve but you can do it in unreal engine too so you can see the effect that you are going in for and what you want to put out so the temperature try and play with it a little bit to see what is actually going to be the outcome and this is how i want it all right 
and you can see i'm still adding in effects to make my scene really look cinematic as how i want it all right and again it depends on what you are going in for all right it depends on the feel that you are going in for and for the last but not the least we have to add wind and i'm gonna add intensity of the wind and the speed with 0.5 and it's gonna make it look very awesome and this is pretty amazing you just move your camera and there you have it all right it's your boy a to the k to the k alexander king kwame and this is hoodie studios don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like if you really like content like this let me know in the comment section and we are gonna deliver what you want all right peace out take care i'm out love you